my Road to Premier League series. Um, as you can see, we've just done pre-season in the first month. But first of all, before showing you fixtures, I will show you what's happened at the club. We have been taken over by some bloke. Oh no, sorry, we haven't. We're in the process. Or, oh, no, the chairman's looking to leave even. Never mind. I thought we'd gone through. So basically, the chairman's looking to leave the club still. Uh, hopefully when that happens, the club will have a bit of money to spend on players' wages and upgrade my training facilities. So I'll show you the transfers. Okay, as you can see, there's been quite a few comings and goings. Players were released, Dan Thomas, Scott Jones, Paul Hinslewood, Jake Newtown, Harvey White, Ryan Perry, uh, Dali Gomez. Uh, you're probably surprised by Dali Gomez. The reason he's released was injury prone. Um, if I can see, I don't know if I can see it anymore. He had one, two, three, four, five injuries in a season. And okay, a couple of them were bruises and dead legs, but I couldn't take the risk and I ended up releasing them. So, players we've bought in Liam Chilvers, former Preston, the uh, North End centre defender. I think he could bring a lot to the table at a lower league club. And so far, after four games, he's doing a very good job for us. Uh, then we Brought in on loan at Kerry Apaya. Kerry C. Apaya. I needed someone to get goals for us. Uh, not paying any of his wages, and he is off to a flyer. After six appearances on seven goals, so obviously one of the signings at the moment. Bradley Bubb also on going on a free. Uh, he's also had off to a good start, getting a goal in a goal every two games. Hopefully that can continue. Then we signed George Bulldock, a young centre midfielder from Milton Keynes. And again, he's off to a good start. He's got some good teamwork, work rate, tackling technique. So he could be one that's going to be hanging around with us for a while. We then got David Wheeler on loan from Staines. Uh, I know I've gone down a division to bring someone in, but he's 22. Uh, okay, he's only played one game. He's had a good game, but I think he can do it. A uh, very handy job for us on the right of midfield. Uh, then we brought up a bit of a backup player, Shaquille Hunter from Bristol Rovers. Uh, he's going to be more of a impact sub, I think, he, unless he improves a hell of a lot. Uh, so, who knows? So let's have a look at the fixtures. As you can see, guys, uh, pre-seasoning off the best of starts. Lost 2 0 to Bristol Rovers, 3 1 to Maidenhead, drew 1 1 with Knox County, uh, beat Eastley 2 0, and then we beat Portsmouth 3 0, which it, uh, got us ready then for the Tamworth game, which won 4 2. Goals from Steve Ramsey, Kosi Apaya, Bradley, Bub, and Tony Taggart. And that really put me in the mood f for uh, this season. Um, raring to go and I thought avoiding relegation would be a massive battle, but the way we started in that game alone was just incredible and a lot of positives. Then we played Maxfield 1 3 1. Goals from Kev C. Prior, Bradley Bubb, and Christian Anetti. As you can see there, guys, David Wheeler and Steve Ramsey picking up injuries. We then drew 1 1 with Stockport. Bradley Bubb getting our goal. We did go 1 0 up just for half time, but they soon equalised. We then played. To apologize for that. We then played uh, Lincoln and we lost 1 0. I uh, wouldn't expect anything from a Lincoln game to be honest, as Lincoln are a much bigger side than us. But it was a good performance because we were away from home and maybe could have got a point, but I'm not going to complain too much. We then hit back with a thumping against Gainsborough Trinity. Okay, we see a pie getting two, Tony Tiger getting one, and Ryan Woodford getting the other. And then we played Barrow, who at this time they were on an unbeaten record as well. Uh, a couple of games unbeaten. There was three or four. And Lion seventh. And Quissy Apaya did the damage alone, scoring his first hat trick for the club. So, guys, after the first month of the season, uh, we're sitting in first, a point behind top. But more importantly, a good way from a relegation battle so far. Um, the objective is. At the end of the day, just avoid relegation. 
hopefully by the time the new video comes out, which will be Tuesday time. No. Sorry, because I'm cut really ahead. By the time I do my next video, uh, hopefully I'll have um, a new board, a couple of new players, and hopefully something amazing is going to be happening, whether it's a cup run or just the league form continuing as it is and us pushing for the playoffs. So, guys, let me know what you think of my story so far, and uh, hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm making it. And uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks.